Welcome back everybody. In this video, we're gonna be checking out the NR1 by WildGuard. This is a night vision device that you're gonna be able to put onto an existing rifle scope or even mount uh, to a Picatinny rail as the scope. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what we got here. Comes in a semi-hard uh, carrying case. You open it up, you've got a little pocket right here with a, looks like a, a carrying strap. You've got a couple extra O-rings and some little Allen screws. And then a little uh, DVD. Open this flap up. you got your uh, scope, scope attachment rings. This is how you'll mount uh, this system to the existing scope, which we're going to do on my 17 HMR. And right here is the actual device. It comes with a lens cleaning cloth as well. It does not come with an SD card, so you have to put an S. You have to, uh, you know, have your own SD card. It comes with a battery installed. You have to make sure that there's a little piece of uh, tape on the end of the battery. You have to take the battery out and take that piece of tape off. It comes charged up. So the first thing you notice about it is it's pretty uh, relatively light. Uh, this portion in the front is all metal. The rest of it's all plastic. Now, if you're gonna mount this to a Picatinny rail, uh, they do have a mounting uh, bracket that you can buy off the website, or it actually comes with the Wild Guard NR Pro kit that you can actually mount this directly to the Picatinny rail mount, so it'd be just like your scope. In this case, we're actually gonna be using these uh, scope mounting rings, and we're gonna mount it right to the existing scope. So, the different uses for this. There are four different ways you could use this. One being you install it directly to the rifle using the Picatinny rail mount that comes on the Pro version. The second is how we're going to mount this is mounting it directly to the scope with these rings. The third is mounting it to a tripod or a bipod to use as a scanning device if you're uh, coyote hunting or raccoon hunting at night. The third is just to use by hand. Uh, this would be a good device for law enforcement or PIs or uh, even soldiers to use to just scan and uh, essentially just be able to see in the dark. It's got one by 24 magnification. It's got 850 to 940 nanometers of infrared light, which means you can see up to 400 meters in the pitch black using uh, the IR on this. And the IR is located right here. You have two different IR beams. You can adjust uh, the focus, well, not the focus, but you can adjust how tight your beam is. You know, it can go from floodlight to more of a beam by moving these in or out. So those are both adjustable like that. You have your uh, zoom right here. So this zooms in or out, and then you have your fine focus right behind it. So every time you zoom in or out, you're gonna have to readjust your focus to make sure you're, you're back in focus. The video this takes is 1920 by 1080p uh, video. As you guys can see on the screen right there, it takes pretty good quality video. You can actually connect this via Wi-Fi to your cell phone and you can manipulate the settings through that app on your cell phone and you can video and save you know, videos through the app on the cell phone as well. We're not actually gonna do that on this video just uh, because I'm not gonna use that portion on my gun here. This comes with a two year uh, warranty as well, which is a pretty darn good deal. If you have any issues, you know, within two years of purchasing this off the website, you can send it back and get it fixed or get a new unit. It's got a 4,800 mAh battery in it, which is uh, obviously rechargeable, and it'll last up to eight hours uh, without using the IR light. 
and it'll last up to four hours using the IR light. This unit is, was originally priced on the website at $559.99. They now have it listed at $359.99 and uh, the link is in the description. I'm going to go ahead and show you some other aspects of this. Uh, I just wanted to do a brief overview of what what's in it and kind of the specs behind it here. So very quickly I'm just going to show you some of uh, how this works. So your power on is right here. Your SD card slot is right there. I put a 32 gigabyte SD card in there. You have your charging port right there. This is your HDMI or your headphone setup if you're going to be using those for some reason. This little mount right here is for the pro version. You can actually get a rangefinder attached to it. It would go on your rifle like this. And this is where you would mount to the Picatinny rail. Okay, let's see here. So let's go ahead and uh, power this on. Okay, so you can see that we're powered on right now. And I have it set so you can see the reticles. There's multiple different reticles you can use in different colors. I like this reticle in the green. So let's go ahead and go to the menu. So your uh, buttons to flip through the different IR and focus and whatnot. So this button right here above the power on or power off is your laser beam. So if you hit that, your laser turns on which is a really cool aspect of this as well. You can see that laser out a long ways too. Just hold that down and it turns off. To actually start recording, you just hit the middle button right here that's a recording device and it'll start recording. And you'll see up in the top right hand corner, it's uh, blinking and showing your timestamp. You hit that again, it stops recording. Let's go ahead and go through the menu here. So to get to the menu, you just have to long press this middle button right here, and then it takes you to the menu screen. Try to get you focused on that, okay. So then to toggle through, you just hit the down arrow, and you go through each uh, different setting. I have the time and date set right there already, so that's okay. So you can just keep going down. And I always format the SD card uh, as soon as you put it in there just like that and then to get back to the main screen you just long hold that middle button and you're back to the main screen there so it's very simple to use now we're gonna go ahead and uh, get it set up on this 17 HMR right here we're gonna set it right up Okay, we've got the system mounted to the rifle. Let's go and uh, do some target shooting and see how it does. Okay, we are ready to rock and roll everybody. As you can see, we put up a few different targets. A couple of clay pigeons, one right there, then one a little farther right there. We'll go ahead and line everything up and see if we can take them out and see how this system works in the light and then we'll try it in the darkness. As you guys could see, it worked great. Uh, everything's lined up good. Uh, the scope didn't jar or anything. The system didn't jar when I shot. Everything stayed in place. Uh, I was able to focus really well onto the clay pigeon. Uh, the farthest one being about 40 yards there. So 
let's go ahead and set one up uh, down at like 80 yards and see how that one does. Okay, we've got a pigeon set up at quite a bit farther distance now, so we'll see how everything focuses and how it does at that distance. Okay, as you guys can see, it's pitch black out. So we're gonna go ahead and try the night garter out, obviously in the dark. So I've got a clay pigeon set up out there at about 85 yards, and then I've got a, a few uh, cans set up here at 30 and 40 yards. So we're gonna go ahead and power this uh, device on right here. And we're going to see how it does in the pitch black. So I just shot the 17 HMR using the night garter system here and I was super impressed. Obviously it's pitch black out. I want to show you through the scope what the target looks like. See if that's focused. Okay, so that's a target that's at about 40 yards right now. And uh, I just showed you, you know, what I was shooting and I hit all my targets. The can didn't move the first two times because I just poked holes right through it. The last time I shot that last can, I aimed a little low and hit the pole to pop it off, but I am pretty darn impressed. We'll go ahead and take this inside and then I'll wrap this video up. Good morning, everybody. It's obviously light out now. I shot this last night, as you guys seen. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of wrap up all my thoughts on the Wild Garter NR1 night vision system here and kind of give you a brief overview of what I think after uh, kind of using it extensively in different in different ways. Even after I was done shooting it last night, uh, I actually took it off and used it for like scanning purposes and whatnot. Overall, the system works really well. Uh, you know, I think I would recommend getting the actual Picatinny rail mount for it and mounting it right to the weapon system, whether it be an AR-15 or just a, uh, a rail on a 1022 or something, I think uh, this would work great. Uh, it works good in a case like this, but this wouldn't be very practical if you're up and moving around just because 
this thing is as solid as I could make it and it still wiggles just a little bit. So if you're moving around a lot, this thing is kind of uh, back heavy and it might move around a little bit. So you, you'd have to be constant, constantly kind of messing with that, which is not that big a deal if you're just going to be set up somewhere and you're not going to be moving around. So if it's Say you have a situation where you've got a skunk problem in your backyard and you need something to see in the dark and see out to, you know, 100 yards clearly and make a good shot out to 100 yards and, you know, you're not going to be out walking around with it. This would be a perfect, perfect device for something like that. Uh, if you're out, you know, going from stand to stand coyote hunting and moving around a lot, I don't think this would be great. Uh, you know, it says it can see out to 400 meters clearly. Uh, I didn't see that, to be honest with you. I think you can see out to like 150 pretty clear. Now, one thing you could do to fix that is get a, an external IR light, you know, that's a lot brighter. So you could actually mount that to the rifle and then use the external IR light to uh, see a lot farther. These ones are good, but they're not absolutely great and quite frankly this this product is a great product for the price point you know when you look at night vision devices you see uh, you oftentimes get what you're paying for uh, I think this is a great deal for the price you know I think that if you're a plinker and you want to be able to raccoon hunt or shoot uh, skunks at night or even just be able to scan. This would be a great device just to scan while you're coyote hunting and not even put on a weapon system. You know, there are some things that I was really impressed with. Uh, one being uh, the clarity. You know, you can, once you get everything focused correctly, uh, you know, the clarity is very impressive. And I hopefully, hopefully you guys could see that on the video. You know, was, you could see the uh, crosshair is very fine and, uh, you know, it's very easy to shoot through. So overall, I think it's a it's a great product for the price. You know, if this if this product was more expensive, uh, I would I would possibly go with something else. But considering the price point this is at, it's a great product. Like I said, I think uh, you know the mounting system right to the Picatinny rail would be better. I don't have that unfortunately to try, but that comes with I think the NR1 Wild Garter Pro version. So this is just the base model. So if you go with the Pro, I think you, you can get that. But overall, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about this, just uh, you know, put them in the comment section below. I use this extensively in a lot of different ways. Overall, thanks for watching. The link's in the description. Have a good one, everybody.